Welcome to Music Palast. Today we will continue with our third episode on video game composers. This time with Joji Meguro. Joji Meguro is a Japanese composer and guitarist known for his work in the Persona franchise. He was born in Tokyo, Japan in June 1971. He developed a love for music and technology early on and was encouraged by his mother to play the organ and even to take trombone lessons. Early on his musical taste was mainly classical music, as he has stated he didn't like mainstream music. Later on, during high school, he grew fond of jazz fusion bands such as Herb Alpert, Cassiopeia and T-Square. He continued playing the trombone during high school and it was in the end his best friend who convinced him to focus on the synthesizers and guitar instead. Shortly after, he got his first personal PC and he started playing video games and even programming his own games. He ended up going to the College of Industrial Technology at Nihon University. During his time in university, he joined as a guitarist for two bands, Ardvark and Foggy Gift. He was always a big fan of Formula One, but it wasn't until he developed a love for math that he decided to major in hydrodynamics. To fund his studies, he started transcribing songs for karaoke. But as time went on, he started having troubles finding a job on his field and he heard from his best friend that there was a demand for video game composers. His problem was that he never owned a video game console and he thought he couldn't really express himself as a composer on those platforms. But as consoles like the PlayStation with CD media were released, he started considering a change in his career. After looking for a while without having any success, he ended up getting a job in Atlus, even though he didn't know anything about their franchise game Megami Tensei. His first game on Atlus was Revelations Persona for PlayStation 1 in 1996. He composed 16 songs for the soundtrack and was also responsible for some sound effects. He has stated in the past that at first he had some troubles since he felt he couldn't express himself properly while creating game music, but at the end he put his ego aside and tried to create music that blended with the background and worked as a unit with the game. After 25 years he is still employed by Atlus and has been on countless projects from the Persona franchise. His musical style is a peculiar one, considering what we are used to listen on most RPGs. I would say his style is separated into two facets. One is his signature rock or fusion jazz style. This has been a staple of his and something that he has been known for. The second one is his specific use of orchestral or opera compositional style. What I find mostly interesting about this is his use of opera style singers in some of his work, which he usually uses in songs affiliated with tension and drama. This is a perfect counterpoint to his first facet, which contains usually chill or upbeat tracks. Something to point out about his musical style, specifically about his rock or jazzy tracks, is that he has some great groovy bass lines and funky guitars and keyboard sections. His style is something really out of the ordinary for RPG games. For example, let's take a listen to the song Escape from Persona 5. <laughs> Continuing with some other examples, we have one of his most known songs from Persona 5, a score where he added even more jazz elements. Wake up, get up, get out there. This song personifies his jazzy rock style. Great bass lines, funky keyboard chords, awesome string staccato. Another great example is Hunting from Digital Devil Saga. Here we can find his rock style at full throttle. <laughs> Come on. 
going away from his rock persona, we have his Velvet Room theme from the Persona franchise, which is called Aria of the Soul. This theme was used in multiple Persona games. Something interesting to note is that in the Velvet Room of older games, Joji Meguro also used other classical pieces as background music. For example, in Persona 2 Innocent Sin, he includes Claire de Lune from Debussy and Gymnopedia No. 1 from Satya's background music of the Velvet Room. Lastly, we have another epic song from Persona 5, probably my favorite song of the soundtrack, Last Surprise. That is all for today, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.